Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Noli, and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I did tell you guys that I was gonna start doing like little anime talk corners and stuff like that whenever like I get the chance, but I felt like it would probably be the best thing to do that once I um once the seasons, you know, kind of finished out so I can have like my full on opinion. But to be honest, do want you guys to know I don't look like so far into anime like that like most critics do they look at every like little small things this is mostly just all my opinions of how I feel about anime or you know just my pure enjoyment of it and what scenes I actually enjoyed but just to let you guys know I'm more of like just plain and simple I I could be picky now and then but I'm not really all that picky you know I'm, I'm just open-minded to most animes so yeah the first anime i wanted to talk about that i really enjoyed this season was shield hero and before we continue on spoilers you guys should know this if you haven't watched shield hero then i would recommend you guys go watch it that it's actually not half bad but it is an easy guy which i think a lot of people are getting burnt out on uh, me i'm just sitting here like you know what why not more action and stuff like that being able to do sick moves, why not? <laughs> but to be honest, the reason I enjoyed Chill Hero is just because it was a revenge anime, basically. And revenge animes are things that we kind of lack right now. And I, I, or I just haven't seen a lot of them. But I think this was a good revenge anime for sure. Because in the end, he got his payback. I'm not going to say how he got his payback, but we all know he got his payback. It could have been a lot worse, you know, but Nafumi is, you know, kind of a salty in there somewhere. Small parts. To be honest, if he wouldn't have met Raptalia, that, that definitely would have been, like, different. <laughs> Those two definitely would have died for sure. I, I'm not even going to try and front that. <laughs> they definitely would have died. But it was interesting to see Nafumi go from, you know, this typical guy who just came from another world, you know, open-minded, treating it as a game, to being blackmailed and then turning it into a complete asshole. And, you know, just basically, you know, still keeping his humanity somewhat, but still discarding some of it, like every bit and episodes. But I could definitely say, once he went to that, like, um... What was it? What was that guy's name? I, I'm just going to call him a slave trader because that's basically what he was. Once he went to them, or to him, everything started to turn around. He started to open up a little bit more. He wasn't, like, too much of an asshole. But the funniest thing was when Rattalia, like, grew up, like, really damn fast out of nowhere. I'm just sitting here like, well, damn. So I'm guessing level pretty much counts as age. And at this point, I'm just thinking, at the end of this, why is she an old woman? What is she like? Wait, hold up. What what level was she at the end? I, I didn't pay too much attention to that. But, yeah, she grew up really damn fast out of nowhere. I was just like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> but it was actually interesting to see them, like, partner up and stuff. And then, uh, Philo? I think that's how you say her name? She came out of nowhere out of a fucking egg. You know, we can birth angels out here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but it was also actually interesting to see him, like, gain all these different, like, shields, too. Like, the serpent shield and, um, what was it? I think dog fight or something like that. That dog shield. And I think my favorite one was probably the Soul Eater because of, like, how it looked and it was designed. And we seen him use the Iron Maiden once. And that was pretty much it and the, that blood sacrifice so my pretty much all overthinking was pretty much those were all like executioner and torture tools which are probably based on nafumi's like you know how he felt back then when he first came to the world you know feel like he was being tortured so you know his stuff kind of turned into like torture tools Arm maidens, uh, whatever the hell that blood sacrifice thing was, 
hell, he could have made a guillotine, you know, shit like that. But it was interesting to see, like, all these different moves that Nafumi had that you wouldn't think a S.H.I.E.L.D. hero would have, you know. you think he would be all about defense, defense, but no, he had some pretty top, powerful attacks. The man used blood sacrifice once and just nearly died. Tried to use it again in the final season. I'm just sitting there like, oh my god, are we really going to end it like this? What, is my man going to sacrifice himself just to win? Just to save the world? Because we've had that before, okay? We've had enough, you know, main characters dying at the end of our anime, you know? <laughs> but that would have been actually a shock to me. To be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of how it ended this, you know? I, I just wasn't a huge fan of how it ended you know, so basically, they just let them get away, you know, for the next wave. Oh, no, the wave time had ended. So I'm guessing that just opened up season two. So I'm looking forward to it if there is getting a sheet like a season two. But it is a popular anime, to be honest. It was just got like Goblin Slayer, got all that controversy. SJW started joining in on the raids and shit like that. Then it pretty much got a whole shit ton of ratings and a lot of praise thanks to that. Just like Goblin Slayer did. Just because of one episode scene. The first episode. But then again, on the Goblin Slayer, that's, they're just pretty much showing nature of goblins and shit like that. I'm going to stop before I started getting into um, Goblin Slayer. This is supposed to be Shield Hero. What, where am I going with this? <laughs> And Jesus Christ, I want to say one more thing. How weak are the other heroes? Like, you got your tank carrying you harder than all your DPS, my guy. And the whole party is full of nothing. Well, the other three are full of nothing but DPS. You got a spear. That, that should be DPS or at least balance. You got a fucking sword. Fucking archer. You guys are just outclassed by a shield my guy i might pick a shield every time they give it to me you know what kingdom hearts i'm coming back dude give me the shield choice i'm going with courage wait was that courage i'm not sure i didn't i'm not uh... when you fuck up your own joke and not only that dealing with um the king and the princess was annoying well actually let me correct myself the bitch and trash dealing with them was so annoying just because every turn, man, Nafumi would just get fucking railed for no reason. And the she, oh boy, the spear guy. I, I wouldn't even want to fucking say his name because, oh, that man is fucking gullible as fuck. He, he pissed me off like every turn. Like you're just a little fucking puppet on strings, my guy. You're... Not fucking going anywhere. You're staying in one spot. Just, <sighs> I'm sorry, bro. I I could not deal with him. I would probably be the guy who just tries to end him at that point, you know. And the thing is, Nafumi could probably kill the other heroes easily, with how much more powerful he is. Saying that his shield was cheating, basically, <laughs> which you know, if you're a fucking low level compared to a high level. And yeah, it's, well, actually, you know what? I just thought about it. You know, back in MMO days where you would just get that one guy to fucking, um, to fucking carry you through, like, high levels and shit like that, you know? What was that called? I know it wasn't, was it called carrying? I don't think it was. I think it was called, um, holy fuck, I haven't played an MMO in so long, I've forgotten all the terms. Dear God. What the fuck was it? It was something leveling. I know it wasn't fast leveling. It was something else. We had a term for it. Where did it go? But what I'm trying to say is, Nafumi is just that guy who just basically levels you. But the game figured out that from the previous heroes, and then they just started cutting XP in half if they were together in a group. <laughs> so they basically got a patch and nerfed. Yeah, we, we thought about that. We ain't gonna have no heroes leveling together. 
Fuck teamwork, apparently. You know what? That's actually funny because it was basically fuck teamwork because if you guys fought together, the less XP you get. Y you wouldn't be... Oh, wow. <laughs> but your other party members, you know, they, they, don't, they don't count, you know. They don't count as the heroes, so they still get the same XP. Now that I think about it, wait, hold up. So, if the other heroes' teams are together, and this basically separate out through the whole team, does that mean that it's not even just the heroes, it's mostly just the full parties that are in one area? Or do they automatically combine parties when killing something? Which makes no sense because they're not in the same party. Why am I trying to put MMO rules on this? What am I doing? But <laughs> none of them actually thinking about it. Dude. What the fuck? That doesn't match up. But <laughs> oh my god, I, I fucking love this anime. I would really be hoping for a season two. I wouldn't even mind it because Nafumi is actually a fun, interesting character. I love his fucking design also because he, when he's like depressed or angry. He looks amazing. We just... Actually, you know what? Now you think about it. Now, Fumi from his old self when he came to the world, he was all happy, optimistic. And now looking at him, he's more of just... Neutral most of the time when he's talking to other people. Which is kind of interesting because you wouldn't notice that if you, unless you're like paying attention to it through the whole anime. You know, bits and details like that. Not only that, they stuck with his um, green from his track suit as well into his um, barbarian armor. Which is even weirder. But I, I still can't believe that man held a grudge from the last shield hero onto Nafumi. And we haven't even seen the last shield hero now. Now I think about it. So I'm guessing he's definitely dead and Larks and the other chick and Glass are basically from his other party or oh, well, basically from the old shield heroes party so that's probably why um, Lark probably had like a grudge against him or something because it's either that other shield hero did something or they're lacking a hero and they need to reset everything, maybe. Who know who knows? I'm just curious about this. It's actually pretty interesting so far. But don't spoil anything. I know you manga readers, novel readers, fuck off, okay? <laughs> I I like to watch anime adaptations, alright? I'll read the manga if I want to, but most of the time I don't read the manga. I just like to see animations. You know, animations should, you know, Basically, give me a taste of what it is for the manga. And I know everybody's going to be like, oh, the manga's better than the anime. Yeah, yeah, we get it because you're having a, the pictures in your head, not visually in front of you. Of course, it's going to be better because you're going to be, you know, making your own images of how the fight's going down. And yes, they're going to have more details in anime and the novel, but you got to remember that they got to shorten it within the episodes that they were given just to make you know everything fit they can't most companies can't just go on and just be like oh we're gonna make a hundred episodes with every little bit of details we're not gonna talk about one piece okay <laughs> we'll talk about one piece when it ends but that motherfucker is going on 900 episodes soon so i'm pretty sure they're gonna stop at a thousand maybe if they keep going past a thousand I, I can't review that because that's going to be like a fucking 10 hour video maybe <laughs> but overall where was I <laughs> but if I had to pick a favorite scene out of the whole anime it would probably be the Iron Maiden summon his first Iron Maiden would probably definitely be the first scene that would come to mind as my favorite I would say the second favorite would be, hmm, 
I guess his second favorite would be when he first uses the Rage Shield. I think that would definitely be my favorite out of that. So yeah, those are my two favorite scenes. Everything else was just interesting and got you hooked. And hopefully it does get a second season, dude. I'm just hoping, man. I just want a second season. I want it to continue so I can get, you know, actual closure and not whatever the fuck kind of closure they thought it was on the last one. But it, it was great when the queen stepped in and just basically solved the whole situation within seconds. And to be honest, when I first saw uh, Lark, or Lark, I think that's his name. I think about it. Yeah, yeah, Lark. When I first saw him, I thought he was just a random adventurer that didn't hear about Nafumi's, um, you know, getting his name cleared. I, that's at least what I thought. But just turns out he was just from the old heroes. <laughs> and the whole bigger plot twist was when Glass was from a was from the last fucking heroes. Now I'm just sitting here like, wait a minute. Why there's a fan hero, there's a scythe hero, and there's a jewel hero? Whatever the fuck you wanna call her, okay? I I'm still trying to figure that one out. But it just basically tells you that there's other heroes other than just the sword, shield, bow, and spear. <laughs> but that's the thing. If those are the four heroes from that, then how many other heroes would there be? You know, there could be like some gun hero. There could be some, you know... You know, they could be like a nunchuck hero, shit like that, you know. <laughs> but just got to say, man, it's, it was actually pretty interesting anime. I could have highly recommend it if you haven't watched it. I don't know why you would watch it this far just to get spoiled when I told you. Spoiler alert. So, yeah. You've been warned. But even if you are been spoiled, I know some people, you know, don't really care about spoilers. They'll still watch it if somebody has an interesting opinion on it. But I guess definitely say it's worth a try. It, I'm just sure that a lot of people won't be a huge fan of the ending. But I can definitely say this anime made me tear up like a bitch, man. All, all those sad moments, man, it just tugged at a heartstring in a new way. Not not like Angel Beat tugging, alright? Angel Beat had a man filled enough another way. <laughs> and that another way was fucking deep dark despair and sorrow. And nothing but a sea of tears. All right, that that's Angel Beats in a nutshell. Especially when you when you watch it fully through and get to the ending. Oh, oh God! <laughs> but this anime was like pulling heartstrings for me, man, and also pissing me off as well with certain, you know, really annoying characters. But overall, let's just say. Uh, have I been saying overall and but and all this shit over and over again? <laughs> let, let me stop here. But yeah, overall, I give... Okay, what the hell? I think my mic just peaked. I hope not. I'm going to have to turn that down just to make sure. But yeah, overall, I would say I would give Shield Hero probably like a... say a good old 8 out of 10 at least or an 8.5 that that's what I would at least give it because it was actually a good anime just not a huge fan of that ending you know it, it you got the little shield logo and shit showing that Nafumi's gonna try to raise an army and fuck it that eh just didn't do it for me just because you let the fucking main villains go or even if they are the villains who I don't even think anybody's a villain here that's just trying to fucking kill each other and reset something. I don't know. <laughs> but it's it then, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the first anime talk. And I'll see you guys on the next one. That's it. Peace out. Oh, yeah. Before you go, comment down below, you know. Don't do the whole my opinion is 
absolute shit you know we're just trying to talk back and forth not have like a serious brawl or some shit like oh that enemy was trash like yeah you, dude that's that's your opinion but you're gonna need to calm down you know give me reasons of why you didn't like it not just oh the fucking enemy was stupid fuck easy guys fuck you too <laughs> i don't need all that all right just a casual chilled guy just trying to talk about some anime but with that said like peace out Camera action. No time, no time to waste. I'm lost out.